Hi friends, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these cool boots. I've used them on the Santa Gnome, the Pirate Gnome, and many more. If you'd like to make them, stick around. As always, please like this video so I know you're here crafting with me. Now this pattern is available in our swanky jacket and fancy pants pattern. Uh, as I said, we've used them here on the channel with our Santa gnome. We also uh, debuted them, I believe, with our pirate gnome here. Well, he has one leg. And then our biker gnome, uh, which you guys all loved, this jacket, pants, and boots pattern was used. And then for the zombie, we just used the jacket and the pants. You can get that. I'll put the link down below for that pattern. Now to get started, I'm going to show you the Santa one, and the reason is, is because it uses two things. It uses both stiff felt and the velvet overlay, so you can make these look like anything you want. So you can get all of the supplies in the link uh, for the pattern, but I'm going to start out with some dowels. I'm going to make them even. I'm going to attach them directly to cardboard or foam core board, which I feel is a little bit stronger than cardboard. And then I'm going to take the stiff felt, I'm going to roll it around a pen, and then I'm going to put it into a cone shape. I'm going to repeat that for the second boot while the first dries. After that's dry and set, we're just going to add glue to the bottom, slip it over the dowel, and then line it up with the back of the foam core, and repeat for the other one. And this is a, just for the Santa Gnome, I added these little buckles. Um, you can add any accoutrement that you want later. Now to add a little bit of extra uh, weight, I did end up putting a couple little tiny stones underneath this still stiff felt toe piece. That's really hard to say. And then I attach the toe piece per the pattern. I put a lot of glue inside the boot and then I put these small rocks. You can use anything for weight. And then I glued the top of the boot as well to make sure that they didn't go anywhere. Now for the cover, I'm going to use this crushed velvet. I'm going to create the back piece and it wraps around to the front and then the toe piece goes right over that stiff felt and it makes everything just a little cleaner and nicer. And then you add on the sole. Uh, just this is black felt and then you add on any decorations. The final piece before uh, decorating with fluff is that midsole and then you're done. Just repeat all this for the other boot and you have the cutest little set of boots you can use for any of your gnomes. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to get that pants pattern and jacket pattern below. As always, thanks for being here. And please like and subscribe to Ruffles and Rain Boots for more crafty fun.